Do you need a side hustle? Many persons think about having a side hustle when they're looking to make additional funds or start a passion project. And today we have Kim, a Koye by Kim, that's her brand. She also has Buy From Bolt Hay. And I think she's perfect for this episode, which focuses on the side hustle aspect. My name is Jade and this is The Blue Table Show. So Kim, my very first question for you is how did your business get started? What was the background like? What was your journey like to get where you are today? Thank you very much for having me and I'm very a pleasure. happy to be here at The Blue Table. I'm happy to have you. My journey started actually when I was five. Surprisingly, well, not during, <laughs> not during that's COVID. a little young. Yeah, that's a little young to be thinking about business and entrepreneurship. It was actually about thinking about it all to both ah. that you can do more than one thing. And it is a very quick and cute story. So I saw the then governor general on television and she was wearing a beautiful hat and brooch, mm -hmm. etc. And I said to my daddy, who is this young lady? And he said, well, that's the governor general. She is mm -hmm. a nurse, but she's also the Governor General of Barbados. Mm -hmm. And in that instant, two things happened. My love affair for hats, bags, and accessories was birthed, and the notion that I could do more than one thing. Mm -hmm. Because he inadvertently said to me, she was a nurse, and she was also the Governor General. I love that. So I always thought I could do Whoa. two things. Correct. <laughs> And it's that true. continued throughout my, my life and my childhood. Mm -hmm. I would, when people would say to me, what do you want to be? I would say, Governor General. Because in my mind, it meant that you could do multiple things. That was a representation of mm -hmm. doing the nine to five and then having additional income, exactly. additional, you know. Yep. So if I, when I fast forward now to a good few years later, mm -hmm. I lived in Jamaica and I realized that a number of persons did do the all to both. They did have their nine to five and mm -hmm. then they moved into their passion projects mm -hmm. thereafter or their side hustles. Mm -hmm. And in 2020, that provided an opportune time for me to consider how I was going to use all of my skills and talents, mm -hmm. not just to self-actualize, but to also create something that was bigger than me, right. to create a table where I could have seating for infinite persons. That. And that is how Okoye was started. Um, it was October, 2022, mm -hmm. and I said, this is time this for is time. me to not just pivot because I didn't lose my nine to five, mm -hmm. but certainly I recognize that a number of persons were displaced. And if I was going to help, mm -hmm. I need to be able to create something that could serve not just my family, but also my community. And I love that your story starts from such a young age and not something that you just did recently, just randomly thinking about it. So it feels like something deeper, like a deep passion for you, mm -hmm. as opposed to waking up one day and wanting to do something extra. Yeah. So um, I love that. It, it's important that as an entrepreneur as, and as an employee, that I'm thinking about all of my skills and talents. It is important and imperative in this time, in 2023, that as individuals, as young people, as mature persons, mm -hmm. that we're thinking about how we're going to monetize all of our skills because our nine to five may only allow us to use a certain amount of skills. Exactly. You may be able to only use your technical skills or exactly. administrative skills, but you may be a creative as True. well. True. And you don't have to choose one or the other. You do both. You can do both. Yeah. And that's why I believe in the all to both. Yes. You can use all of your skills and talents. Definitely. And that's what I want all of our children to be thinking about how they're going to use all their skills and talents. So while we're still on the topic of that initial um, stage, of your journey tell us about the financial aspect how did you find funding for Okoye by Kim or did you pull from your savings what was that journey like for you it was a combination approach um, I like to be data driven and that's one of the blessings of having a nine-to-five mm -hmm. always thinking about how you're gonna use the data to answer the question mm -hmm. I needed the, the for me the question was how are you gonna make money Correct. It needs money. You need money to make money. <laughs> it is true. So what I did was a capital investment in my business. I decided out of my salary, I was going to put an injection into the business mm -hmm. for two and a half, two and a half to three years. Okay. Thereafter, um, I would begin to look at whether it was equity financing for the future, mm -hmm. whether it was going to be short loans and 
how I could be a part of associations that provided grant funding. Right. So that meant that I had to make sure that I was doing my research, answering the question, mm-hmm. what is it that people want? Are they going to buy it at exactly. this particular price point? Um, so my short answer is mm-hmm. I injected capital into my business. I also have gotten funding through um, agencies and associations, and I have gotten one um, loan, one small loan for my business. I know that entrepreneurship is not always an easy feat. I know that it's never a straight path, um, you know, just from here to there. It's a lot of ups and downs. But tell me about some of those highs and lows for you. Okay, that's a, I, I like that question because it's one mm-hmm. that I grapple with every day. Um, the trials and the triumphs of entrepreneurship. Mm-hmm. I call what I do delusional faith. When you are an entrepreneur, you really do have to dig deep and prepare for the next day for whatever high or low it's going to be. Yep. Um, so for me, a lot of my highs are when I see women celebrating themselves um, wearing their waist because I do make transitional accessories yes. that accentuate and situate effortlessly. And our brand is about saving women time and money. Mm-hmm. And when I see that women are wearing our belts one way this week and then another week, you know, they're wearing it in a completely different way, I mm-hmm. know that they are investing in themselves and in their wardrobes. In terms of challenges, mm-hmm. entrepreneurship can be a little lonely sometimes. It is because for sure. Um, you don't know who you can ask which questions to. So what I try to do is to create community and safe spaces where you can ask Mm -hmm. real questions. Like, how do I really price this? How do I budget for this? Mm -hmm. You know, so it's really about building community and, you know, you can put your time, energy and effort and it can still not work out. True. So it's a series of failing forwards that you have to do in entrepreneurship so you get where you want to get to. And I am blessed to have a community of persons when they have challenges, they can call me and say, oh, girl, I done with this. <laughs> and I can call them and say, yeah, I done with this. And then we can say, all right, just for today, we done. But tomorrow, we then back you, at Then it. you start again, you know? <laughs> we, start, we start again. Sometimes it's useful to take that break and then go again. Sometimes yeah. it's good to take a little off day, come back with fresh thoughts. And, and go. It's it's a delusional faith that you have to have in it yourself. Is. I love that term. And in your ability to succeed. This is mm-hmm. what entrepreneurship is about. It is a lot of hard work, but it is so rewarding. Mm-hmm. There is nothing like being a captain of your own ship. Definitely. So Kim, as today's topic is side hustle, would you say a side hustle is for everyone? I think a passion project is for everyone. Mm -hmm. I think that um, we've been blessed to have free education and that has afforded us um, a lot of opportunities to work as employees and employers. I think that for the next generation, we do have to think about how we're going to use our total skills and talents. We're all born with gone given um, talents Mm -hmm. and it is how we're going to utilize them. So... I don't think a side hustle Mm -hmm. or working in the gig economy should be something you should be ashamed of. It should be something celebrated. Being a full-time employee um, and being an entrepreneur as well Mm -hmm. has made me a better employee because I understand that the exchange is time and money for my talent. So I give my employer 100% Mm -hmm. and I give my business 100%. You know, it's just how you manage your time. And I do feel it is for everybody. Think about how you can use and monetize your skills and talents. Yeah, definitely. I think once you have the right skill set, the determination, tenacity to get the job done, if you're passionate about it, then it is indeed possible. So that leads me then to our next tip. This is a money minute tip where we speak about investments. So here we go. Take it away. Hi, I'm Kareem Mane. Portfolio Manager at Sajikor with your Sajikor Money Minute Tip. Should entrepreneurs invest? Some entrepreneurs think that investing is not for them as their income is inconsistent. However, this is far from the truth. The money you invest on a monthly basis does not have to be a fixed amount. Investing is a viable option for business growth and for future expansion. Investing in yourself is good for both you and your business. Sajikor can help you determine your investment potential. Call 467-7500 and speak to an agent today. Thank you so much for that money minute tip. 
Investments is definitely an interesting topic that I think all of you should listen and tune into. So now back to you, Kim, with our interview today, our chat, so it's not as formal, but I wanted to find out from you, what is your idea of financial freedom? It obviously means different things to different people, but what does that look like for you? Financial freedom for me is the ability to afford the lifestyle that I want to have. Mm -hmm. And living in a beautiful place like Barbados, financial freedom for me is the ability to get into my vehicle and travel around Barbados, go and eat at nice restaurants, go shopping when I want to, and be able live to travel. Life. Yeah, just live life. Just enjoy. Um, I'm not particularly interested in a lot of material things, mm -hmm. so I don't need to have a huge house and huge assets in that way, but quality of life is really important and being able to spend time with friends and family. And financial freedom allows me to be able to do that. Having my all to both, my full-time job and working on my entrepreneurial endeavor allows me the freedom to take my family to dinner, to you know buy presents for my nieces and my nephews, to be able to do things that had I not had the additional income mm -hmm. I wouldn't be able to do. So financial freedom for me is being able to watch my parents retire and I can support to whatever it is that they would want to do. Thank you, Kim, so much. It was definitely a pleasure having you here on the show. I'm sure the viewers feel the exact same way. And tell us, how can we find A Call You by Kim? How can we find Buy From Boat Hey? Let us know. You can find us on Instagram at A Call You by Kim mm -hmm. or Buy From Boat Hey. You can give me a call at 266-0779. Or you can like, share, follow us on our website as well at akoyabykim.com. Thank you. So guys, you heard that. Go look for her. Go buy a belt. She's actually dressed in her Okoye by Kim Warwell today. She looks amazing, guys. So thank you so much for tuning in today. Stay tuned. We have some great topics lined up for you coming this year. And feel free to comment. Let us know your idea of financial freedom. Let us know what a side hustle means for you. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.